All right, in order to solve this exponential equation, what we're first going to do is um, find a common base for four and for eight here. Um, on the side, I'll just show this work. Um, what I'm going to use is two, um, because two squared equals four, and two to the third equals eight. What I'm going to do now is replace the four and the eight in this problem, um, or these bases, specifically here and here. Um, with those two expressions. So first what I have here is uh, 2 squared to the x power equals 1 over 2 to the third to the 5x plus 4. Um, and then I'm um, going to do a little bit of work here um, on this um, right-hand side. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this 2 or this 1 over 2 to the third as uh, 2 to the negative 3. And then uh, just apply some other rules here. So this 2 squared to the x, I can simplify as 2 to the 2x. And then um, on this right side, I multiply these exponents together, and what I get is 2 to the negative 15x minus 12. All right, and so um, now that I have um, these to the same base, um, I'm going to set their exponents equal to each other. So we're using this common base concept, and so uh, what I have now is I just set these uh, exponents equal together to get 2x equals negative 15x minus 12. And let's move this stuff around. And so uh, what I'll have then is I'm just going to solve this uh, linear equation for x. So uh, let's add 15 to both sides to get 17x equals negative 12, divide both sides by 17 to get negative 12 seventeenths. And that is your solution to that exponential equation. Again, what we use there is the common base or the like base property.